Some Kelloway women are having a big impact on the community. Twice a year, 100 women of Yankton come together and donate to a deserving organization. In tonight's Eye on Kelloway, Sarah McDonald explains how the group works and finds out why these women do what they do. It's a busy night for this group of women. 100 Women of Yankton's third meeting is just getting underway. It may look like a pretty standard meeting, but it's something much more. We are going to give over $14,000 to a deserving organization in the community. Uh, what will happen is we will hear five, five minute presentations of each organization. Whitney Devine is a steering committee member for 100 Women of Yankton. Twice a year, members of the group come together and donate $100 each. That money then gets donated to a local nonprofit in Yankton. And with already more than 100 members, that money can add up quickly. This impact it has no restrictions or no strings attached. At each meeting, the five organizations that are nominated get a chance to explain their need. They don't have to qualify for anything. They just have to show a need to a, a group of, of our members and then do what they need to with it. Once each group is done presenting, each member gets to put in a vote for who they want to be selected. Not only um, is it great for the winning organization, but it's also great for the other four just to share their story and their mission of what they're doing in the community and they might pick up more volunteers and donors that way as well. Since starting 100 Women about a year ago, two organizations have already benefited, one of them being the Clothing Closet in Yankton. A program that provides clothing, bedding, and essentials to families in our community at no cost. Executive Director of the United Way, Lauren Hansen, says the donation is helping them get this space in downtown Yankton remodeled. That is what we needed to get this space renovated in a timely manner so we can quickly and um, turn it around, open it up to families, and provide a seamless transition of services from the old location to the new location. Now 100 Women of Yankton is hoping another organization will benefit from the donation. Five organizations were nominated. Ultimately, Pathways Shelter for the Homeless was voted to receive the donation. We're the only emergency shelter serving homelessness within a 60 mile radius of Yankton. So as I said last year, we served people from over 14 different counties in our area and that amounted to 268 people. The organization recently had to cut money from their budget which led to reducing some staff. This is going to help us hire that case manager back, and we'll be able to do that immediately now after this amount of money. And that, that's going to tremendously increase the number of people we can serve each year. Leaving these members knowing they're making an impact in the community and looking forward to helping even more organizations in the future. We're only hoping to expand more and get more members. That's our, that's our initial goal, um, and to really be an impact in the community and it's not very often that you can go to a fundraiser and just give that much money in one night. It would be extremely exciting if the collective giving of this group could maybe impact almost every single nonprofit group in our community to some point. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sarah McDonald. Pathways will receive just over $15,000. The other organizations nominated were Yankton Food for Thought, the Boys and Girls Club of Yankton, Habitat for Humanity of Yankton and Clay Counties, and the River City Domestic Violence Center. The next meeting will be in November. To learn more about 100 Women of Yankton, or if you're interested in becoming a member, we've provided a link under this story at kelloland.com.